In today's video, I'm looking at the Arelic A50 Plus wireless stereo amplifier. The A50 Plus has a 50 watt output, wired and wireless connectivity, and it can be linked with other units to create a multi-room audio system. It's priced at $199. Let's get it. What's cracking audio fans, it's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. So the Arelic A50 Plus, uh, this is the box and I tell you what, you get a pretty nice bundle inside, they give you a lot of stuff. Um, you get the main unit, you get two antennas, one for Wi-Fi and one for Bluetooth. You get uh, a remote control, two RCA cables and an RCA to 3.5 cable and you get a power adapter and even a little screwdriver. So they're giving you everything you need pretty much in the box, everything except a pair of speakers, which uh, wouldn't fit in here unless they were really small and really shit. But uh, let's have a look now at the unit. That is the Arelic A50 Plus, look at that. It practically fits in the size of my hand. It's the size of a normal little DAC or same size as the SMSL D6 that I reviewed recently. On the front, nothing much happening there. There's a little LED that lights up here when you power it on and it shows your pairing status, stuff like that. And all the action is on the back. So let's walk through these. So here are the antennas that I mentioned, the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. You've got a micro USB input here and a multifunction button just under that. Now this is used to change uh, through the various input methods and you can restart it with that button as well. Then you've got your RCA auxiliary line in. This yellow one is a subwoofer out, which is really nice because there's a lot of these little amps do not have a sub out. So I, I love the fact that this does because now I can finally use my uh, subwoofer with it. You've got an optical import as well, standard LAN port and USB-A for plugging in um, USB disk drives and this is where you plug in your speakers. It's got these Phoenix connectors. There's also a little um, clip that goes in here and you can put your your naked speaker wires into that clip. Uh, that's actually the only one issue that I did have with this because my speaker cables have got a really thick gauge on them. So I had a little bit of trouble getting them in. I'll try and um, show some B-roll maybe. Getting them in, getting the speaker wires into those little holes was definitely a challenge. And uh, finally, we've got your DC input there. So that's the unit itself, aluminium body and plastic front. And it's nice and inconspicuous, obviously very small, so you can move it around easily. Let's dig deeper. We'll have a look at, quick look at the remote now as well. It's, so it's got a pretty fully featured remote. You can select all your various input methods here. You can do a mute. You can turn off that, that LED on the front of the unit if you want, if it's distracting you. And you've got your tone controls, your bass and treble, and your D bass. Uh, what does that stand for? Deep bass, I think it, it means. And these six buttons down here, you can actually have various presets set up. Um, which is really useful, especially if you're using different systems and different units in separate rooms. So you can have a preset for each uh, room, which is nice. Setting up the A50 Plus is simple. It was a lot easier than I thought it might be. Once you have your speakers and any additional physical inputs connected, it's time to fire up the 4Stream app, which you can download from the, uh, the Arelic website both for iPhone and Android, and um, follow the prompts through the app to get connected via Bluetooth, and then your Wi-Fi network. I found the process really easy, and after just a few clicks, the app took care of the rest. Once you're done with the setup, you are good to go. If you are using a wired input, you can simply start playing music from your source. And if you're using the 4Stream app on your phone and a multi-room setup, you can actually choose which specific room you want to send music to, or you can play them all simultaneously. You can name each A50 Plus unit whatever you like in the 4Stream app. 
or use the preset suggestions such as living room, kitchen, office, etc. What's more, you can even have EQ presets for every separate room or device, which I already mentioned. But um, wait, there's more. There's even an alarm clock that you can play on any specific unit at any time and it will play music, you know, whenever you want. You can stream music directly to the device via Bluetooth from your phone or whatever, or you can use the 4Stream app and that opens up a lot of extra options. There is also an option to um, control it via your web browser on your computer, but I think the 4Stream the app is definitely the way to go. It's the better option. Now, um, the A50 Plus here supports many popular streaming services, including Spotify, Deezer, Total, Cobuzz, Amazon Music, and many others. That's all supported within the app. And oh, I forgot to mention one thing, one uh, downside about the remote, it's an infrared remote. So you need direct line of sight from the remote to the unit for the remote to actually work. So you can't use it through walls and things like that, which is a little bit of an inconvenience, but not really a big deal for me since you can control pretty much everything through the 4Stream app anyway. I found that the EQ controls and the sound um, tone controls worked really well, but during my testing I left the sound at the default flat setting. I did the majority of my testing using the 4Stream app and streaming Tidal music over my Wi-Fi network, and the A50 here was connected directly to my NHT C3 speakers and my Poke HTS12 ported subwoofer. In terms of output power, the A50 Plus pushes 50 watts through both channels at 4 ohms, uh, which I found very adequate for my bookshelf speakers in terms of power delivery. You know, obviously if you have a uh, have really large or expensive and power hungry speakers, you'll be looking at, you'll need to look at other solutions. This is designed primar primarily for pretty easy to drive bookshelf speakers. Uh, for the most part, however, the A50 Plus will drive most modest home systems with ease. Considering the tiny size of this guy, you might expect it to lack drive, especially in the base, but that is definitely not what I found. It delivers lavish, punchy and tight bass, even with my subwoofer turned off, I was getting really nice bass response through my speakers. Running through my playlists, the a50 provided a clean, uncolored sound, rich in dynamics. It's able to resolve fine details and present a wide soundstage with good instrument separation. The amp had more than enough power on tap at all times and um, for my speakers. And even when pushed, uh, it never showed any distortion whatsoever. So it's really nice, clean signal. I found the connectivity over Wi-Fi to be flawless. I haven't heard a single stutter and the connection maintains rock solid stability. Although admittedly I do have a very reliable consistent uh, Wi-Fi setup in my home here but regardless the wireless performance, the connectivity was flawless. So to sum up the sound, look I, I really was not expecting much from this thing considering all the functionality that it offers and the small size of it, I was not expecting it to sound so good. It really, really does justice to my modest little speaker setup. Those uh, C3s sound amazing and they sound amazing with this unit driving it. Uh, I like the various input options. That is fantastic. So it's a really little versatile device and if I were to have, you know, little hi-fi systems in separate rooms, I would definitely consider getting myself another one or two of these so I can set them up, speakers up anywhere around the house. It's really a versatile device. So look, I've been really impressed with the Arilic A50+. Plus. Not only has the wireless connectivity proven to be stellar, but it also impressed me with its clean and powerful sound. Considering the device's tiny footprint and the modest price, I think this is an absolute must have if you are looking at getting into wireless or multi-room home streaming. So yeah, obviously 
the A50 Plus, the Aurelic A50 Plus here gets my highest recommendation. I think it's brilliant. So I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, Parfam audio file style. Don't forget to, uh, to check down in the description below. I've got a link to the full written review. I've got my affiliate links down there as well. So go crazy on those. And um, yeah, check out my social media, Discord, Patreon, if you want to support the channel. Um, and if you are new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you later.